Hello and welcome, my name is Akira and this is my Let's Play series of uh, Hearts of Iron 3, where we are playing as Germany. And we got some uh, Jagdzwerger free here. And what is this? It is Yamarov, I think that's where we were putting them. Yes. And have we joined that up to... Yes, it has been joined up. So... Still building up uh, towards... Uh, the war with the Soviet. Um, so we already. T mm, let's just go. All Why does it keep? I I d I have never ever pressed this to lock it, but it keeps locking it on its own. It's really weird. Wonder if that's like a feature of the game. will automatically do stuff that you didn't ask for. Let's just research all these types, in case we want to build them. Uh, but yeah, uh, as I said, we are still making ready for the war, but we are getting closer. Uh, we are now in November, and I think we will start in January or February, uh, depending on how we do with uh, building up. Maybe we need a few more. Oh. One of these must be behind time or ahead of time. Maybe it's in here. Okay, that's here. Might as well do small arms now if that's not ahead of time. Anyway, yeah, we will uh, do it in either January or February, depending on uh, how we can we can fill out uh, this army with some few uh, few more troops. I think we have a bunch more on the way. Infantry, Panther, Infantry, well, Infantry. So we should be able to fill that out pretty quick and then we can start the war. Uh, of course I want to be doing it on the other side of winter, uh, so we don't have to fight too much in the winter. Uh, although if we wait all the way to spring, well then we don't have t that far, like that much time to fight outside of the winter, so starting it in January or February is probably the best. And a bunch of uprisings. Oh my god, that's a lot of uprisings. And we have an infantry division ready, let's turn it up to the 10th core. Infantry support weapons. Why are these moving so damn slow? Stupid fucking freedom fighters cut popping up all the fucking time. It's so annoying. We have a sixth and a seventh that need them, so let's just go and check that. So I think the sixth was also here somewhere. Why is there no function to look for that? This, by the way, has been made much easier in the uh fourth installment of this game where you just assign them uh to a group and then they automatically find their way there. Okay, maybe it's easiest to find it like this. Second army doesn't have a sixth not sixth not the sixth. So we don't have a sixth? There is a sixth motorite core. So, it's not here. It's not here. There it is. And they do indeed uh, need one more. Let's just add it to the sixth. And we need in our bombers. You need one there. And let's just put the other one there. 
industrial capacity. Let's put it somewhere with uh, the air guns. And that was it, I think. And these guys are busy. I should probably actually take these guys up here. Just to get it all with a bit quick, more quick. Might as well walk these in as well. And they're losing supply, even though they are walking in pretty high infrastructure. Oh, pretty, actually pretty shitty infrastructure. Well, I guess. But still, they're not even fighting and still they're losing supply. That's fucking brilliant. And how are the navies out here doing? Oh my god, the scroll function is crazy. Well, they are doing great. How about the guys in this? Uh, only two guys, we almost cast them out. But they are still doing great, doing a lot of sinking. How is a couple of radar stations? Let's put them down on this front. And we are now up at maximum radar capacity for that site. And are we still producing radars? No. Mm, probably want some still. So let's just order a couple more uh, so we can get some on the uh, other front and so we can get them once we get further into. Uh, we'll have a radar station here and then once we get into here somewhere, we'll start a radar, sta radar station up here as well so we can see what's going on up here as well. Anyway, let's get. Get rid of these fucking sweets. HQ. And we have a bunch of stuff that we need to take care of here as well. Um, infantry division ready for 10th Corps. Bunch of infantry and research. Uh, just click this off. Uh, but I have a feeling that's not what is the inefficient research is going on. There is some, there is some... Let's just stop that. And that one... I think we've got it all. And we are moving up in officers again, so that's nice. And of course they're just taking more stuff. Uh, send that to. Oh, let's just put it. Yeah, let's just send it to that air wing. And we have more. Anti tech barrel and ammunition, and this one. Do we want rocket artillery? Let's just get it. And up here. Nothing happening. Let's get the HQ to move up as well. 
And we just keep losing fucking provinces because they are so fucking slow. Uh, oh, we might as well stay with this. So, but we got did get something that was out of. Can we see what it is? Militia support weapons. Let's get that out of queue. Maybe we should go to speed four. And more inefficient research. Why? Oh, I wish there was some way you could turn it off so it doesn't automatically add it to the queue. It would be so much easier to just go in and click it all on again instead of having to click it all off every fucking time. Uh, well, let's set all this 42. I am so looking forward to the next Stormlight. I can't wait for D-Day. The game has been so improved. It's not even... Not even fun. I wish they would have uh, have these whisper all the time. I can't imagine understand why it's so like there's such a big difference between speed 5 and speed 4 it's a crazy speed 4 almost nothing happens still and then speed 5 everything just once once it's crazy naval engineering research let's go check production as well bunch of upgrades doing going on needs to join the first time, let's just check him out until we're done, so we can at least give his own bonus. This is so annoying. Just get that all with. This would be so much easier, and the, oh, this will be so incredibly, unbelievably e more easy in the new expansion. First of all, you don't really get these kinds of uprisings. Instead, like in the real world, um, you will see damage to your infrastructure and your factories and the like if there's partisans. Um, Having these kinds of uprisings didn't really happen in, in, in the real world. A bunch of IC being wasted. The soul incredibly, incredibly many clicks in this game that we'll get rid of in the new game. I just, I can't wait. It's literally, literally the worst. All this stupid, stupid, stupid clicking for nothing. I have to find the fucking stuff every time. Sorry for being a bit sour, it's just, uh, feels like you're wasting your time with all this. 
And now we are in February 42 and we haven't gotten rid of this stupid rebellion yet. And I want to stop the actual attack soon. That actually means something. But we can't because we're stuck fighting this idiotic stuff. I hate the fact that they flee and then go take some more provinces. It should be, okay, we fight until the death, and if we go to a province where it's al already occupied, then we fucking die. But you can flee into an, uh, an province and then take it over. Like, that's, that's not how, how the world works. This game sometimes. I don't get why I'm getting, like, that's another thing. I have no idea why I'm getting these rebellions. There's no, no, like, explanation of it. Uh, and I, there's nothing I can go and change so that they won't happen. Like, I, of course I can and try and place some troops, but I don't even know. There's, like, even, there's no indication if that will work. And then I have to produce like a billion different uh, companies like these in order to cover all this area. It's just, it's just stupid. It's just time wasting. And now I'm in March and I need to go to war with the USSR. And this is just stupid. At least we get the 10th core filled up. This motorized company seems like it won't be filled up this side of the wall. Let's get that into priority. Okay, so do you go there? You go there, you go there, you go there, you go there, and let's get it over with. Then we just have to move them to the front and we can go to war with the USSR. Finally. God damn it, that took a while. We just used like three, four months on that. Well, I guess that just goes to show that we need a Dedicated. This time we're just gonna take some of this. God damn, that was stupid. Anyway, let's get to the front and let's get clear this war. Some more U boats. Let's get them out. And these. One of these got sunk, and I didn't really get told. No reason to tell me stuff like that. some like uh, join the tenth I see wasted there should be two different kinds of uh, messages one for a successful rate and one for unsuccessful rate and these ones you should not should not have to see And 
better stuff than I know. And one more U boat. Let's put them in reserve. And let's change their priority to one. Hopefully they will do that on their own, and soon we will have these guys ready for the war. And... Getting closer. Just add it to that one. And... And then we end up declaring in April, which is stupid, but at this point it's just too goddamn late to wait another year. Should probably have declared without them, but hey. The Air Corp, let's lock them up to the 5th Army. Let's get a 1 on infantry there, and one more infantry there, and let's declare on the USSR. Uh, Comintern, Soviet Union, declare war, conquer. Could just take, let's just take a conquer. We'll, we will just kill it all. Okay, so let's go down to. Can take a national dist destiny. So, a bunch of extra manpower and... Encirclement uh, forced Germany into war in 1914 and blockade through brought her to her knees. Congress in the East will ne neatly solve both of these problems, allowing Germany to follow her destiny. So... Let's do an attack with these three into this province. Do an attack here. We will do an. Why are there two HQs in this? You attack up there. here except for these two who attack down here. You oh that's a oh, okay. Uh you guys there's so many troops on the Soviet side. Uh, I guess you attack here. You guys attack here. You guys attack here. You guys attack here. Guys, attack here, except for you two who attack here. You attack here, except for you two who attack down here. You just um, move around here. Oh. I want the HQ to join, I want one more soldier to join. We attack into here. Move these guys into. Why can't they move into there? Except for. This who just moves in. Well, apparently they can't move into there. For some weird reason. 
Let's set the SS in here as well. These guys, except for the HQ, all attack this town. These guys, except for the HQ, all attack into here. These guys, except for the HQ, attack into here. This motorized corp uh, attacks here. Except for these guys who wait for movement after. These guys just attack into here, yeah, except for except for these guys who go up and attack into there. And let's see what happens. Uh, we don't have any more waters here. Uh, you guys just attack here. I uh, just stand there. It's two borrowing provinces. Uh, except for two guys who stay there. But they apparently can't do anything. They have to the, the attack, so that's why I can't do anything. So you should see a bunch of attacks coming in soon. On the first attack. Let's just attack here. Oh, and we should of course get our planes in the in the air. Let's do a intercept this area. Let's do a intercept in this area. Let's start bombing these guys. Let's start bombing these guys. And let's start bombing these guys. if we attack with one on each of those guys. Chutnu starts here, they are moving down there. Battle of Hvernost. There, won a battle here. Let's just see. Follow this on. You, there's been gonna be so many battles. So all of these guys are moving up there. Let's just move the HQ with them. Actually move them up here instead, and then we'll move all of this up here. These guys. Let's keep these two, move these guys. Why can't they move up there? I don't really get it. There's something wrong with this province. Uh, it has no infrastructure, I guess. Well, then we just go up and defend here while these guys go on. And how is this battle looking? Well, I think we should win that. And what do we have done here? And we are being attacked up here. Two of 
these to attack up there instead. attacking. She's just moving up. Let's get you up there instead. Let's move the third army up a little bit. They are all attacking into there. Let's just get them all in there instead. them attack along here. And it seems like we're winning on every line. Ground attack there. Even these guys are winning a one on one battle. Oh, maybe not. We have no information on any of this. Even though we are fighting it, we don't know what it is. And New Zealand has been accepted into the Allies. And I just realized this video went oof, way long. So, we're finally in the war with the USSR. Uh, after that annoying debacle with the... Swedish up here. Uh, why are you not you're not close enough? So let's put you down there. Put you on some victory points. You go there along with this guy, and you go there. And you should be in range. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Uh, see you in the next video. Until then, have a good day.